Well, we are here at the second day of the Farm Progress Show here in Boone, Iowa. We have special guest today, Iowa First District Congresswoman Ashley Henson. Uh, first off, great to have you at the show today. Yeah, great to be here. It is absolutely packed, and I don't think we could have uh, asked for any better weather for today. Absolutely not. And, you know, great weather for a great event, obviously. We have tons of innovation going on here. And, I mean, let's just touch on how important it is to support that innovation, especially, you know, we're in Iowa one of the top ag states in the country. Right, and um, I heard someone refer to this as Agriculture Super Bowl, right? And all of that is truly on display here. And year after year, we continue to see uh, farmers and our ag producers be the best innovators. Um, and, and that's certainly happening with um, the production side as well. Um, I've visited several booths today, seen the innovation in the precision agriculture space, seen the innovation in the bio space uh, of what we're doing to make sure nitrogen can better get into our, our corn plants and, and have a better product. So really when, when we're faced with all of the increased input costs, all of the, the challenges facing farmers today, some of them they can't control like drought and weather related, but all of these factors that we can control, if we can do a better job and innovate in that space, that is absolutely critical. So um, we as policymakers need to, to make sure we're doing what we can to have a good public-private partnership there. Right, and of course, one of those things that's kind of, at least feels like it's out of our hands is input costs right now, especially. And I saw you at uh, Pivot Bio, and one of those things they have there is, uh, you know, kind of new ways of nitrogen application. And it's just one of those things that anything we can do to kind of maybe veer away from having to use so much fertilizer, especially right now, you know, we really got to feed into that and make sure that it's uh, available and affordable for uh, Iowa producers. Right. When I had a farmer text me last week and say his input costs were up over 320 percent. And so anything we can do, you're right, to drive that cost down. Um, and long term certainty, right, is another part of this whole uh, discussion with the supply chain and the challenges we face with where we might source some of those materials from. So I think um, innovation like what's happening at Pivot with, um, you know, making sure that our, our plants can have more of that nitrogen the right way through microbes. I mean, it's, it's amazing to me to hear what they've done um, in the biotech space. So um, that kind of innovation is exactly what we need to be supporting. And um, I think farmer, I mean, it was one of the busiest booths I've seen here today. So I think people are clearly saying, hey, we're, we're interested in any solution that's going to help us get our, our product to market and be effective in producing and increasing our uh, yields and decreasing our inputs. Right, of course, and I'm sure you've been all around the uh, show today already. You know, there's plenty of things to see. What are some of the things that have stuck to you uh, or stuck out to you the most? Yeah. Uh, just came from John Deere's booth, actually. So um, they had a chance to show me some of the new equipment that they've got with um, uh, with this uh, weed spraying technology, how it can quickly recognize using uh, tons of cameras and how quickly those sensors can determine, hey, that's a weed, we need to spray it, that's not a healthy soy, soy plant. So just seeing some of those um, those technological innovations um, in person is, is critical. I got a chance to get up in the Series 8, which is made in Waterloo in my district, so that's always fun to be able to see what um, the good men and women um, who are working hard every day are, are building uh, right here in Iowa. So I'm very excited to get out and see all that um, the show has to offer, and specifically all of uh, Iowa's producers and what we're making here. Of course, and you know, being in, in the public, everybody's out and about today. You know, what are some of the things that you've been hearing from just people walking around of, of things that you know we need to continue to focus on? Yeah, well, you, you hit the nail on the head when you talk about the input costs and the long-term certainty there. I mean, anything we can do to help uh, maximize efficiency is going to be something that people are interested in. Uh, I think one thing that I've been struck by as I'm out walking around, you know, you've got your your Iowa and your Iowa State and your UNI gear, but you've got people from literally all over in Europe here. You've got people from Asia here. You've got truly people from around the world coming to see um, what agriculture innovation looks like. And so um, I, people are truly looking at investments, historical investments, because they understand that long-term uncertainty is a challenge and they want something that's as certain as it can be. And so um, I, I think that's I think my biggest takeaway is just saying people are very, very interested in this technology and making those investments. Right, and like I said earlier, you know, what better place than the state of Iowa to have such an ag-focused event? Yeah, and we've got uh, members of Congress from all over the country here today. Our, our ranking member on the Agriculture Committee, G.T. Thompson, is here. Rodney Davis from Illinois. Um, we've got lieutenant governors from uh, Delaware, um, Alaska here today. So uh, truly uh, representatives in government who, again, I talk about how important that public-private partnership really is in terms of policy. Um, people who are wanting to learn more about how these innovative practices can make a real difference and, and then be better informed when it comes to the policy making tables. All right, and is there anything else our listeners should know about, you know, anything going on today or in the near future? 
Well, I think that just as we uh, continue to have, again, I go back to the word uncertainty, um, uncertainty in trade, uncertainty in input costs. Um, this is the place where we can say, hey, here are our solutions. Conservation practices really matter, and that's uh, at the forefront of a lot of discussions. And I know farmers are the best stewards of their land, and uh, you see that on display here with them wanting to continue to innovate and um, add solutions to their uh, their operations. So uh, just a really neat experience, and I'm so proud to be a representative from Iowa, and I think that today just is a culmination of so much hard work. So very excited to be here.